has no people working at it. My total is only 50 cents. You will never see a garbage truck. Do you have anxiety? No, I have anxiety. This is Sungdo. Sungdo started as an idea back in 2000 to reclaim land from the sea and create a sustainable and high-tech city that accommodates a diverse crowd from around the world. Sungdo is now one of the most smartest cities in South Korea and it has been the hot spot for innovative ideas like electric buses as well as robot cafes and self-service business models. Here I am at Touch and Joy. Let's go ahead and go inside at the self-service cafe. Are you tired of 45% concentrate in your orange juice? Well, this robot can make 100% orange juice. So let's see if it can do just that and how well does it taste? Ooh. So I have my orange juice. Let's see how it tastes. They have a bar of things for you to get. They already gave me a lid, which is nice. We love to see it. It's 100% orange juice without the pulp Picasso. So I'm here at the coffee bar kiosk and they have many different types of drinks from your favorite hot chocolate latte, to an iced matcha latte. And they even have an Americano. A hot Americano, huh? Because get it, I'm hot American. But the cameraman would like an iced lemon tea. So we're gonna get our cameraman iced lemon tea. Tom Yun Tachi. Put in in the car. So go ahead and take a sip. How does it taste, cameraman? Perfect, awesome. So let's go ahead and move on to the next place. Not only is Songdo one of the highest tech cities, but it's also super trusting in its visitors and its residents. Here we're at the 24-7 ice cream discount store where you can get your craving of ice cream at any point in time of the day that you are feeling the need for ice cream. And the store, has absolutely no people inside. It is completely self-service. So you go inside and you get your ice cream. Let's go. One is 70 calories, one is 85 calories. Hmm, I mean, which one? Eeny, meeny, money mo, pick a tiger by the toe. The calories let it go, eeny, meeny, money mo. She told me this was it, so I will pick this one. Okay, so we're here at the checkout bar. And I'm going to start by scanning the code here. And then here. And then press. So this part says card. This part says cash. So I am paying with card. And my total is only 50 cents. Well, 500 won. You guys can't see the goods. Why won't you work? So, I have the ice cream. It was 50 cents. Let's try it. It's mojito with lime and lemon. Not an alcoholic ice cream, I promise. I would never. Oh, it smells like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I would never. It's not alcoholic. It's not alcoholic. Yeah! And now we're headed to the next robot of the day. Let's go! Do you have anxiety? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. Instead of ordering from a human, let's order from a robot that makes coffee. Five, four, three, two, one, warning. So, as you can see, this menu starts off in Korean, but I can go ahead and switch it to English because of course, some go English friendly city, of course. 
so here we are going to look through some of the options. They have many different things. How about vanilla latte? So, gonna get a vanilla latte. So when your drink is ready, they're going to send you a message through the popular Korean messaging app, Kakao. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my number and you guys can't see that. So I just got the notification from Kakao letting me know that my drink is ready. So let's put in the password. Thank you for your service. Oh, it's really hot. Can't forget your lid. And now we're all good to go and we have energy to head to the last and final location. Let's go. There are computers built into the buildings and the streets. Sensors gather information about the water use and their energy flow. But there's one thing that's still left to the imagination. You will never see a garbage truck in this entire city. Why is that? Let's go look. This beautiful key right here gives access to these very intricate garbage pods instead of a traditional dumpster to easily get rid of your garbage. Where? Mundo has built an elaborate underground network system that sends garbage directly to the sorting facilities. So there's no need for a conventional garbage truck. Now we're here at Photorism, which is a place that has no people working at it. And you get to take your own professional light cute photos. Let's go ahead and check out and see what it looks like. All done. So we're here at our last and final stop, Daiso, one of the largest marts in Korea. Let's go. Are these for your feet? Oh yeah. Hey, yo. Okay, I'll ignore it, I'll ignore it. You go in Daiso for one thing, you come out with another. It's a devious plan. Okay, so I'm going to start off in English, of course and scan my own. The card is yeah. not inserted. I know it's not inserted, huh? So first, you gotta put in your card to start it. I didn't know that. Don't make a mistake like Shakira. Okay, so I just finished my trip here at one of the biggest Daiso's in South Korea. And it has such an extensive self-checkout. So it was super quick and I could get my things and go, which is what I love about Songdo because not only does it emphasize quickness but also quality. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did when you come to Songdo. Until next time. This video was brought to you by Incheon Free Economic Zone, a city that welcomes you and welcomes all.